Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. In this video, we are taking a look at some brand new videos I got of Tiger Woods golf swing in slow motion with every single club. We have him hitting wedges, hit him hitting 50 yard pitches, wet full wedges, like seven irons, four irons, uh, three words, drivers, every single club. So make sure you do like this video, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive straight in. So we have some really, really good looks at Tiger with pretty much every club here. So first of all, we're gonna work our way through the bag. So we're gonna start out having a look at Tiger Woods hitting a 50 yard pitch shot, then a full wedge, and so on and so forth until we get to the driver swing. And there's a lot of things to mention with Tiger as we have a look at this. So let's play through this 50 yard pitch shot first of all. And Tiger is probably one of the best pitchers of the ball in the game. Uh, you know, everyone talks about he had the chipping and pitching yips a few years ago, but that was actually due to some back pain after one of his surgeries where he just, his body was having flinching pain and he just wasn't able to chip and pitch the ball effectively. So here we have a 50 yard pitch. So as we play this back slowly, we can see that Tiger's going to get his, if we pause it at the top, Tiger's going to get that left arm parallel to the ground. He has a little bit of wrist set, more wrist set than he would have in like a full swing, definitely. But we can see Tiger still keeping the hands and arms nicely in front of him, nicely connected to the body. He's gotten a little bit of pivot and turn in the hips, little, and that right elbow is nicely down and in front of him. And here, he's gonna get the feeling like he's hitting a draw. So as we slowly play it down, he's gonna drop the club down on the inside, turn through the ball, and really release the hands nicely, and he hardly even touches the ground. If we play that through again from the start, that left arm's gonna get up to parallel, he's gonna drop the club down and release the club, and he's hardly going to even touch the ground. He just picks that ball straight off, and then the club works up and back in front of him. Let's have another look at that. It is a really beautiful chipping and pitching, well, pitching motion. And it is one, I love to see how little ground interaction he has here, because that's something any of us could copy. And if you have that little ground interaction, it doesn't really matter what grass you're playing on, what lie you have or anything like that. If you can pick the ball that cleanly, you're gonna get a lot of spin, great contact, and you're gonna be able to pitch the ball really effectively from any kind of lie, any kind of grass. So now let's move into more of a full wedge shot here for Tiger. We're gonna notice some similarities, but a few differences. If we play this back, and let's just play through it once or twice. Again, here, he's kind of getting the feeling like he's hitting a draw, and he's taking very, very little ground again, coming through the ball super, super shallow. By the way, guys, Tiger is kind of like quite a handsy player, especially when it comes to his wedges and short game. He likes to feel everything in his hands. He likes to feel the release of the club and everything like that. And you can kind of see it with this wedge shot. It's probably going to be about a 80 yard, 90 yard wedge shot, something like that. As we play this back, let's pause it parallel to the ground here. And we are a little bit out of down the line, we're not quite down the line. We're kind of a little bit more in front of him from this angle. And perfect position there, minimal wrist set. Tiger kind of keeps that face nicely uh, in line with his spine angle and nicely pivots and turns with the body. Doesn't, if you, if you saw my recent video where I did, uh, I had a look at my swing compared to Tiger's because I actually do use Tiger's swing as a blueprint for my own swing. I talk a little bit about some of the things I'm working on and I'm struggling with when I'm trying to compare to Tiger. And this is one thing, is the pivot and turn of the body. But as we play this to the top, you can see there, if we look how down and in front of him that right elbow is, that is making the club shaft go a little bit more up. He does get the arms quite deep here, quite interestingly, with quite a short wedge shot. Uh, but the important thing is that right elbow is very, very much 
underneath the left arm, which is going to help him shallow out as he starts to swing down. As he starts to swing down, the club's going to drop. He's coming from the inside with this. He's trying to hit like a draw. So the club's going to drop, and if we pause it parallel to the ground, we can see it kind of looks like, well, one, the hands and the club are quite low, and two, he's definitely coming from the inside, and from here, he's going to turn the body through onto the ball as we pause it at impact. And we can see he doesn't have as much rotation as he would with a full shot, but he still is rotated. His hips and shoulders are open to the target. And he's releasing this club down, coming through super shallow onto the ball. And from here, he's going to release the arms and hands up and in front of him. So let's have a look at that one more time again. And if we slowly play this back, so again, remember Tiger's trying to get the feeling of hitting a draw here, coming through shallower and picking that ball. As he gets to the top, he's you know, a bit more upright than he normally would be, and he's gonna drop that club down underneath, rotate through, release the hands, and come through really nicely shallow, picking that ball off the surface. So now let's get into the good stuff, guys. Let's have a look at a full iron shot. This looks to me to be about uh, probably an eight iron, I would guess. And it's a beautiful down the line view, uh, look of Tiger here. Perfect angle to have a look at Tiger's swing. So first of all, setup, beautiful setup. I would recommend anyone copies that. Really nicely relaxed, hips are stacked over the ankles really nicely, great posture. Beautiful arms hanging down. As we play this back, we're gonna notice if we pause it parallel to the ground. Club face pretty much matches the spine angle, maybe a tiny little bit open, but what I particularly love is that he has so little wrist set. He's kept the arms connected to the body. Beautiful triangle between the chest, shoulders, and the arms. And he's pivoting with the legs. We're not gonna see those knees swaying at all. As he starts to take it to the top, the wrist set very, very late. And if we, if we pause it here for a second, I want you to pay attention to the lower body as we take this to the top. Here we've got the left arm parallel to the ground. And look at the legs and look at the hips. Now from here, they're not going to move or turn really anymore to the top of the swing. And this is because the golf swing works like a coil where you turn the lower body first, then you work up through the coil. So it starts with lower body, hips, uh, mid spine, then thoracic, upper spine, shoulders, everything like that. That's how the golf swing works. So from here, if we play it slowly to the top, that lower body doesn't really move anymore to the top of the swing. And if we pause it at the top, it's pretty impressive top of the backswing position. There is nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, we can see a few of the things I personally love is the turn in the lower body that you can see he's loaded into that right side, but because the knees are still pretty much pointing forward, he's pivoted really, really nicely. Another thing I love is the left is the arm structure. That left arm, almost a straight line with the club. The hands are just above the shoulder plane. Now this means if the hands are just above the shoulder plane, the hands and arms are going to need to drop a bit more in transition in order to get the club back out in front of him. If they didn't, you'd basically be coming over the top and hit a big slice. So as we play this down, the hands and arms are going to drop, the club's going to shallow out, and I love how much width he keeps on the way down here as we pause it parallel to the ground really nice and wide and he does that by keeping the right arm straighter on the way down and if we have it paused parallel to the ground here tiger is going to be hitting a slight fade it looks like with this shot so he is coming slightly out to in but there's nothing wrong with that uh, i love how connected his right arm is to the ball uh, to his body and I love the angle of the club face as well. And also, if we look how much forward flexion Tiger has in the hips, he really hasn't early extended at all. 
he's coming down nicely on top of the ball and he's going to be able to rotate as he releases the club. So if we slowly play this to impact, they're turning onto the ball, really nice rotation. Look how open the hips are to the target. And from here, if we play it through, Tiger's going to be able to release the face up and in front of him, keeping great connection with the hands and the arms. But let's play this through once or twice more. It is such a good look. A few things to note, Tiger's body positions are pretty much perfect. There, He makes it look very easy, I can assure you. It is not that easy to get into these positions. I love how late he sets the wrist and then on the way down still keeps it beautiful and wide. That's some, another thing I'm working on, trying to keep more width on the way down, actually releasing the club a little bit earlier into the ball, but not releasing it so much after. I tend to lead more with the grip into the ball, which makes the ball come out quite low. Um, but Tiger obviously releases a bit more, comes through a bit shallower, and then keeps that club nicely in front of him as he swings through. Now let's have a look at Tiger hitting a longer iron. I'm not going to spend too long on this because it's, pr it's pretty similar, although Tiger will be hitting a draw and with this, uh, so it's a slightly different swing. I will, I'm kind of tempted to do like a draw versus fade video of Tiger's. If you'd like to see that video, make sure you comment down below and let me know. But yeah, it would be interesting to take a look at some of this, the differences. I have some great videos of Tiger hitting a draw and hitting a fade, so it would be good to see how he d goes about doing that, some of the differences in his swing. So here, I believe Tiger has about a forearm, and he will be hitting a draw. So as we play it through, if we pause it at parallel to the ground, that club face perfectly matches his spine angle. The overall swing plane will be a tiny bit flatter, but that's just because it's a longer club. As we play this to the top slowly, again, because he's hitting a draw, he gets the shaft more down the line, or even maybe even slightly across the line here, and it's a longer swing because he has a longer club. The right elbow gets a little bit more away from the body. This is something Tiger does throughout the bag when he gets, with his wedges, he keeps the right elbow very connected. With, as he goes into the longer clubs, the right elbow gets a little bit wider, a little bit more away from the body to help him keep more width and also a little bit more power of getting that right elbow away than externally rotating it on the way down. But still a great look, still rotated really, really well. As he starts to swing down, we're gonna notice club start to shallow a lot more than in the other video. Keeps the width with the hands and arms, coming more from the inside. If we pause it parallel to the ground here, we can see the club is more on the inside here as we have Tiger. And Tiger's also already a little bit more rotated coming into the ball. Uh, we can see it looks like he's putting more speed into this. As he starts to come down into the ball, he's going to rotate more out the way. But coming down super shallow, and if we pause it at impact, it's a beautiful impact position that really for any of us could copy. There's no early extension, it's a very athletic swing. And we can see Tiger's coming in to out on this one. And if we slowly play this through, he's going to release the club really nicely in front of him, keeping the hands and arms nicely in front of him. And he hits that beautiful high draw. Let's just play through it a few times for you guys to look at. I could honestly watch this pretty much all day. It's so rhythmical. I absolutely love the rhythm of it. Nothing's rushed. Everything falls into sequence really, really nicely. Keeps everything nicely in front of him. Looks absolutely perfect coming through, hitting that nice high draw with that forearm. Have a look one more time, and pay attention to the sequence in this one, as his lower body starts to move, then the lower body stops, then the spine starts to move, then as he comes down, lower body clears out the way, as he lets everything release down into the ball. So now, Let's jump into the three wood. We got two more swings to have a look at. We got three wood and we've got driver. I don't know about you guys, but I could honestly look at Tiger's swing all day. It is so, so good. It's unbelievable. In my opinion, you know, as I said, I want to do a video 
of Tiger's swing through the ages, so how it's changed from like Butch Harmon, Hank Haney, Sean Foley to now. So if you guys want to see that video, make sure you comment down below as well. As Tiger takes this, well, first of all, set up again, immaculate set up, really, really good. Absolutely love that. Copy that any day of the week. And as we take the club away, pause it parallel to the ground. Beautiful one piece takeaway. Again, anyone could copy that. You're not going to go wrong copying that takeaway. And if you do want to copy that takeaway, bear in mind, Tiger's basically just pivoting and turning the lower body and the chest away from the ball. There's no real movement of the hands and arms yet. There's no real setting of the wrist. That's all going to come later. As we go to the top of the swing and pause it there, again, this looks like Tiger's going to be hitting more of a draw here because he's got the club shaft more down the line, almost perfectly down the line, actually. And as I mentioned, if we look at that right elbow, as Tiger goes through the bag, getting to the longer clubs, the right elbow comes further away from the body. But beautiful coil up through the body. We can see the lower body's coiled. The, the, he's coiled all the way through his spine as well. And as we play this down, the arm's going to move back in front of him as the club shaft shallows. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, that club is perfectly on playing, guys. That is just a perfect position. So athletic. That is, it's so much harder to get into that position, I promise you, than it looks, than Tiger makes it look. Uh, he's turning out the way with the lower body. He's got beautiful width of the arms, even though that right elbow is really nicely connected to the body. The right arm is actually relatively straight. He has a little bit of bend in the right elbow, but it's actually relatively straight, keeping a really good amount of width. And as he slowly comes down into the ball, he releases the club as he continues to turn through, coming down super shallow through the ball. And if we, that well, that's just a beautifully athletic impact position. I promise you guys, that's not an easy position to get yourselves into. I have tried. One thing to bear in mind, look how much space Tiger has between his hands and his hips and the body here. Really important to mention that. As he swings through, releases the club because he's already rotated fully. So he's just going to release the club and the spine as he comes through. Again, he is hitting a beautiful high draw with that three wood. Let's just play it through a couple times for you guys to have a look at. Just the sequence of it is beautiful as he releases the club, rotates hard. It's amazing to me how connected he is with the body while still being able to keep a very kind of rhythmical sequenced well put together tight golf swing it's really really impressive honestly it's so much harder to do than it looks if we have a look at it again just comes through the ball so so beautifully releasing that club and that ball he's hitting a three wood here and that ball sets off so high i absolutely love it now let's have a look at driver, guys. Obviously, you guys have all been waiting for this driver clip. Let's have a look at driver here. It's set up again, perfect setup, love it. As he takes the club away, if we pause it parallel to the ground, it keeps the face more square, hands and arms and everything in front of him. Absolutely perfect position there. Then as we play it to the top, it starts to hinge everything, set the wrist, and if we pause it at the top of the swing, again, that shaft is pretty much perfectly down the line. The club face matches the position of his left wrist, gets the right elbow a little bit more out again and away from him as he does with the longer clubs, and beautifully coiled and set up through the ball. The lower body positions really aren't changing much at all for Tiger through the bag from when he's hitting a full wedge shot, to when he's hitting a full iron or full driver, the body positions stay pretty similar, guys. The only thing that's really changing is it's a little bit longer swing, a little bit deeper with the arms, the right elbow is a little bit further away, a little bit more wrist hinge, but that's pretty much it. The body positions stay very, very similar. As he starts to swing down, slowly shallows out the shaft. Look at the width he's creating here, guys. 
really pushes out with that right arm as the club's shallowing, gets the hands and arms really nicely back in front of him. As we pause it parallel to the ground here, we can see he's rotating so hard that hands and arms have moved back out in front of him, which is so, so, so important. As we play this slowly through to impact, guys, beautiful impact position. That's so athletic to be able to get yourself in that position with the hips and the spine and everything with that arm beautifully, that right arm still beautifully connected to the body, arms beautifully connected still. As he releases this, he looks like he's hitting a draw again here as he slowly releases this up and in front of him. Really beautiful look at Tiger's swing and that iconic finish position. And let's have a look, just play this swing through a couple more times. I just, it is, what, what do you guys take away from this? As you're watching this, what is your, you know, opinion of this? For me, I love to see how high that ball launches. It really is impressive. I just love, well, I mean, I love a lot about it, to be honest. There's so many things to take away from it, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions on what you take away from these videos of Tiger and, you know, what you think, what you take away and work on in your game, what you think the most impressive things are with Tiger Swing. Let me know. I know I'm personally missing Tiger a lot at the moment, so cannot wait for him to come back and make his return to golf. Well, hopefully, if he can make a return to golf, fingers crossed, hopefully his recovery is going well. Let me know what you thought of those swings, guys. Let me know what you think of Tiger Swing, and if there's any other videos you'd like to see me make, comment down below. I reply to all of your comments. I really appreciate them. Give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel as well. I really hope you have enjoyed it, guys. As always, I will see you in the next video, guys. Got some great content coming out for you, so make sure you do not miss it and hit that subscribe button. As always, guys, have a great week and grip it and rip it.